Okay, so I just wanted to do a quick tour of a uh, flake that I built for OCaml. I didn't build most of this. Uh, it, it mostly is, is based off of uh, Kickstart Nix flake, which is created by Alt F4 stream. And I'll put a link in the description for that. But um, this is what's working for me. And it works for most cases that I've come across so far. Uh, as far as building for OCaml, especially if you're just using the OCaml version in Nix packages, which is currently 5.1 uh, at the present. So uh, this is using Flake parts. It's pretty obvious. Uh, the main things that, that change besides your description, your name, and your version, you're going to change all that stuff. Uh, I always just include UTOP. I make I think that's easier. Um, I have the four, four architectures, four systems that it's building for currently. And um, in packages, under propagated build inputs is basically everything that you're going to put that you have in your Dune project. And in this case, this has one custom example. So these are the literally the same names that these packages are called in, in the Dune project for this, for this particular library. Uh, and it also has an example if you have something that's not in Nix packages, whether it's in, on your local system or on GitHub. Uh, this is uh, for that. So currently, this is uh, pointed to my local system. And you can see that URL up here. But once I actually get the flake merged in on the mint T repo, I can change it to a nice little GitHub URL, kind of like the Nix packages URL below, and it would work the exact same way. And that's the only line I'd have to change if uh, Minty actually had a flake up on GitHub. So that's pretty much it. I'll put a link to this specific uh, flake in the description and just thought that might be helpful for people just to see how simple it is to make a Nix flake for a Dune project.